Welcome back survivors, it's Shea Wynn here and today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to tame one of the best and most important dinosaurs in the game right now and that's this guy right here, the Argentavis. This dude is an absolute stud and it's a must know how to tame, right? This guy is you're literally going to use for everything, for farming, for PvPing, for raiding, like literally everything underneath the sun. This guy is a complete stud and is definitely one of the best in the game right now. He's going to lose a lot of power as things go on, but he's a really, really good. And stick around to the end because not only am I going to teach you how to tame this guy, but I'm going to teach you everything that there is to know about this guy. All the neat tips and tricks that there is to know about this guy, what's the level, um, what are good stats for him, and how to PvP with him. And so, yeah, I highly recommend to stick around to the end. So let's get right into it. What you actually need to tame this guy. To tame him is very, very simple. Um, here, all you need is going to be a long neck, 20 tranquilizing darts, 11 severe kibble, and then you're gonna use this for the trap. You're probably gonna wanna trap this guy because if not, he'll fly away and, and it's hard to hit him. Yeah. Uh, so it's much better to trap him. And it's a very easy and cheap trap, okay? You wanna build a wood door, a ramp, three walls, and a foundation okay it's very easy piece okay so let's just take everything out right there now if you don't want to use superior kibble that's fine uh the foods that you're going to use to tame this guy in order from most effective to least effective uh number one's obviously going to be superior kibble if you're using superior kibble it's going to take you 42 minutes and 12 seconds the next is going to be raw mutton if you're using raw mutton it's going to take you 51 minutes and 46 seconds Next is going to be raw prime meat. If you're using raw prime meat, it's going to take you one hour, five minutes, and 16 seconds. And then last and least is going to be raw meat at three hours and 11 minutes and 16 seconds. Okay. Also, one thing to note is if you're using uh, uh, prime mutton or superior kibble, you do not need any narcotics to tame this guy because he has an hour and 36 minute wake up time. So it's very, very nice. You just knock him out, throw that stuff in him, and then... Just leave me and make sure he doesn't get hit. So that's uh, really, really nice. I'd also highly recommend for you guys to tame this guy with Prime, Mutton, or Superior Kibble. If you can't use Superior Kibble, that's fine. But definitely uh, Prime and above because meat just takes too long and you lose too much effectiveness. So the next thing I'm going to cover is where you can actually find the Argentavis to tame it. I'm going to put a map on screen now of their spawn locations. As you can see, next to the mountains up north and all throughout the snow biome is where you're going to find these guys right um so that's where you're gonna want to find them all right so now we're gonna go over how you're actually gonna tame the argentavis it's uh it's really really simple so all you're gonna want to do is build the trap like this right one foundation three uh walls all in double door frames a door on one side it doesn't matter which side and then a roof that sticks out to the side that has no double door frame or wall inside of it okay because it will not fit right and it's pretty pretty simple all you want to do is just kite the rg into the trap run out behind and then open the store so i'm just going to show you that guys how to do that right now so let's go i'm just going to spawn one in he's coming towards me i i know i missed it but whatever open the door like that he's trapped see like incredibly easy to tame this guy now you want to do is just shoot him and until he gets knocked out you might be wondering why i built that out of wood and are probably like he could break the wood and yeah you are right but realistically the archie's never gonna break the wood by the time that you know you take to tame him and if you stand at this distance he won't even attack the wood because he'll be trying to attack you or escape so uh it's it's much better to use the wood because it's cheaper but yeah so i'm just gonna trank this guy until he goes down also, you might be wondering why we're not using a crossbow. The reason why we're not using a crossbow is because, yes, you can knock him out with a crossbow, but there is a 3% chance that you kill him. And if he's at all hurt or damaged, then that chance is going to skyrocket. And RGs are always typically fighting things, so it's much better to use a long neck. And look at that. Boom. He is down. Congratulations. You have just knocked out your first RG. So once you knocked out your RG, oh my god, bro, he's sleeping with his mouth open. Yo. So once you knock out your RG, all you want to do is throw your select food of choice into him. And like I said before, unless you're using raw meat, you can pretty much just neglect this guy and he'll uh, wake up in about an hour or so. A little less than an hour. But yeah, it's an hour and 36 wake up timer. So yeah. And so I'm just going to go tame this guy real quick and then we'll move on. All right. Boom. So it looks like this guy is up, which is huge. Now that you've tamed your RG first off, congratulations. But now that you've tamed your RG, you might be wondering... How do I level it and what are some good stats? Okay, so first off, number one is there's really only two builds that you could do for an RG. You could do a battle RG build where you're going to use them in PvP, okay? In which case, you're going to want to pump 
health and melee and a little bit of weight and a little bit of stamina okay and then you have a farming build which is where you pump like 95 percent of your points into weight and then the rest into stamina right that's it so there's really only two builds they can use now as far as stats go and what you want on your Argentavis, so you can know how to build them. So for health, an okay RG is gonna be three three grand in health for a perfect 150. For good RG, you're gonna be looking at 3,500, and for uh, great health, you're gonna be looking at 4,000. For stamina, an okay 150 RG, you're gonna be having 1,100 stamina. For a good 150 RG, you're gonna be able to have 1,200, and for a great 150 RG, you're gonna have 1,300. Now, as far as weight goes, an okay weight for a perfect 150 RG, you're gonna be looking at 700. Good weight, you're gonna be looking at 750. And great weight, you're gonna be looking at 800, okay? Um, and then as far as melee damage goes, a okay melee damage for a perfect 150 RG is gonna be 400. Good melee damage is gonna be 450. And great melee damage is gonna be 500. So doing a quick evaluation on this guy right here, our health is okay, that's pretty solid. Our stamina is okay, it could be better. And our weight is pretty bad at 688. And our melee damage is through the absolute moon at 518. That is huge. So this guy is a really, really strong RG. And I'd probably put him more as a battle RG with these stats that he came out as. Right? Uh, but that is really good. So we got decent health and stamina, bad weight, and good melee. Great melee. So that's kind of what we got. So I'm gonna go ahead and level this guy up to a battle RG build real quick. And one thing too is no matter what kind of RG you're rocking, I'd always kind of recommend having at least 2k stamina. At least. That way uh, you don't run out of stamina too fast. You can continue to fight or fly. All right, so let's go over how to use this guy and some of his abilities. Okay, the first one is one of his most important. This is what makes him a really, really good farming dinosaur. And it's the fact that he is a weight reduction by 50% for a bunch of different things, okay? For black pearls, crystal, metal, obsidian, organic polymer, polymer, stone, and metal ingot, he all has a 50% weight reduction for, okay? Which is absolutely phenomenal. So that makes him great for transporting stuff across the map on top of his already insanely large amount of weight that he has, okay? So now, if you're using this guy to farm metal to do metal runs with, which you should be, okay? How you're going to want to do it is you're going to want to pick up your Ankylosaurus, right, with your buddy on the back of the Anki. You're going to bring him over to a rock and you're going to let him just swing swing at the metal rocks, okay? Now, for all of the metal, you're going to want to keep it in the Anki because it keeps 75% weight reduction. And for everything else that you want to keep, I would throw in the RG because the Anki does not have a weight reduction for stone, but the RG does. So if you decide you want to keep stone as well, then throw that in the RG. Keep the metal inside the Anki. Okay, and then what you could do is you could level up the weight of the RG so much, even though that the uh, Anki is slot cat or the Anki can't move, you're carrying the Anki with the reduced weight. So you never ever level uh, weight on your Ankies as well. I guess that's a little bit out of pocket, but it's important to know. So that's kind of how you're going to farm with this guy. As you're just gonna, you know, keep the metal inside of the Anki and then put everything else inside of the RG. And okay, so another really cool feature about this guy is his saddle also acts as a smithy. So as you see in here, like you can like make anything that like a smithy can make. So that is uh, really nice, especially for raiding when you need to repair your armor on the go or repair your gun or build anything in a smithy. It's very nice to have these guys at your disposal. Whenever you're moving loot, attacking, reading, or whatever, right? So that's very, very nice, okay? So another thing to know about the RG is this guy's actually 50% faster than somebody on foot. So if somebody's running away from you, you could track people down. The new movement speed uh, nerf to players really takes this guy up a bunch of notches. And also the fact that you can't bull on RG, right? And there's no more net guns or anything like that or whips, right? So since the fact that there's no net guns or whips and... You can't bull RG and there's a movement speed nerf. This guy is incredibly strong at PvP as a battle RG. If whoever you're attacking doesn't have any flyers to counter the RG and it's only on a foot, I mean, it is GG's pretty much. They can't really do anything because your RG will do way more damage than they can deal to you and you can kill them way before they can. So another thing about the RG that's really, really nice, he also has health regeneration. So if you kill something and harvest its corpse, you're gonna get this green glowing effect around his head, right? And you're gonna get an increased 
health regeneration as you can see rapid regeneration i think it's for like 15 or 20 seconds so that is really really strong and as you can see my health is increasing incredibly fast as well as my stamina so that is very nice so now we're gonna go over how to pvp with an rg right when it's useful for pvp and like really how you're gonna farm kids with this guy so number one is if they don't have like any flyers whatsoever then it's just ggs like you can just chase them down you pick them up and then you just attack them while they're, they're in your claws and then you just can get their kit it's it's pretty much ggs it's really tough for somebody to kill you on an rg if they don't have a flyer themselves okay now what really counters the rgs right now is going to be tappies and then uh pteranodons if they don't have tappies or pteranodons it's going to be a real easy time for you to uh you know just pick them apart okay however if you are being attacked by a tappy or a pteranodon it's kind of ggs like it is really going to be tough for you to try to attack them i will say this you kind of get multiple chances if you're carrying parachutes because they pick you they drop you parachute you get back on rg you can try to pick them but if you pick somebody who's on a tappy or a pteranodon if you pick anybody with an rg it's an insta kill so that's the thing so like yeah they're really really slow but if you actually get the pick off then it's an insta kill and how you're gonna get uh people kill people who are on pteranodons and on tappies is you gotta bait them into it you have to bait them into it in order for it to work right so the best way to do it is if you notice this guy has pretty shit turning radius right so it's gonna be difficult for you to turn around and just snipe him okay so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into the woods you're gonna have to go into the jungle if you're getting chased by a pt if you're getting chased by a taffy you're gonna want to try to go into the woods and then try to catch them like in the woods and stuff off guard right because they're gonna be faster they're gonna be all over the place you're gonna be a little bit slower so you have more control over your mount and when there's so much debris and stuff it's going to be more advantageous for you right so if you're on an rg and you're getting chased by a pt or a tappy you want to try to fight them in the woods instead of the open space because it causes more chaos and you have a higher chance of picking them instead of them picking you now let's say you can't find the woods the best thing you can do is like come straight at them like play a game of chicken with them come straight at them and just go straight up that is the best thing you can do if you're right on the open you can just gotta go straight up and just try to beat them it's gonna be tough but you might be able to get it and if you do it's ggs so that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed so i'm just gonna leave you guys with three fun facts about the argentavis number one is you would find these guys in south america that's where they found a lot of their fossils and stuff next is they had the wingspan of a small plane about 25 30 feet was their wingspan they approximate and these guys weighed about two to three hundred pounds so of like a big big man they're pretty much the same weight as a big man. This guy looks like he could weigh a thousand pounds, but in real life, not quite so much. Um, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because that means the absolute world to me. We're so close to 600 subscribers. And um, if you liked what, if you liked my content, I'd really appreciate the support. Uh, I'm gonna be coming out with this How to Tame series where I, you know, pretty much. Do exactly what this video does just for a bunch of different dinosaurs a how to pvp series a how to farm series and also a official pvp series as well so i'm going to come out with those videos i try to post daily um because i'm absolutely loving this game and i'm sure you guys are too uh that's pretty much it peace out and uh, may god bless you guys